Hello, welcome to Economic Dispatch Section 9B. We will learn to estimate power loss using B matrix by doing an example. Suppose there are three bus, two generators at bus 1 and bus 2. Let bus 1 be swing bus, bus 2 be voltage control bus and bus 3 be load bus. The voltage magnitude at bus 1 is 1.05 per unit, whereas that of bus 2 is 1.0 per unit. Light impedance are given. Cost functions are given. G1 is cheaper. First, perform simple economic dispatch without loss consideration. We've got the value of incremental cost approximately $5.4 per megawatt hour. Then we calculate PG1 and PG2. PG1 is approximately 182 megawatt, whereas PG2 is 68 megawatt. P load is 250 megawatt. Next, prepare data for power flow. Change line impedance to line admittance, which is the reciprocal of line impedance. Create Y bus, C bus, and R bus. After we've got all data required, perform power flow. The results are the apparent power from G1 and G2 and the voltage at each bus. Prepare data for B matrix. Since there is only one load bus, therefore I3 equals to total load current and the value of D3 is 1. Then calculate E1 and E2. Then calculate C matrix. Calculate IN0, R1, R2, alpha 1, and alpha 2. After we've got alpha 1, alpha 2, RN0, C matrix, and R bus. Calculate T alpha. Then calculate B matrix which is the average value of T alpha and T alpha conjugate. We know the value of PG1, PG2, and B matrix. We can calculate power loss from this formula. The estimation of power loss is 10.5 megawatt. The result for power flow indicate that the total power loss should be 9.9 .9 megawatt. Total production cost is $1,555.5. Power flowing in each transmission line is calculated. It's better shown in picture. G1 supplies power from bus 1 to bus 3 directly and G1 supplies power from bus 1 to bus 2 and continue to bus 3, whereas generator G2 supplies power from bus 2 to bus 3. Notice that the difference of power in each line from the sending end to the receiving end is the total power loss of that line. Compare power loss from two methods. B matrix and power flow. The power loss from B matrix is 6% higher. In conclusions, simple economic dispatch does not consider power loss. However, we can estimate it by using B matrix. It will be useful for economic dispatch considering power loss. It will dispatch power with the objective function of minimum total production cost and minimum total power loss. 
Thank you for your attention. Please stay tuned for more clips.